Hey, Ken. Yes. Uh, so uh, people on the internet, they're saying C60 is snake oil. Any products discussed have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Any products discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent, or mitigate any disease. Individual results may vary. What's your response to that? Well, first off, if people know the history of snake oil, uh, snake oil is actually very healthy for you. <laughs> and it started with the uh, Chinese water snake. The Chinese brought it over and they boil the snakes up and they get a high omega-3 fat, just like fish oil is today. But that's not what the... So is that the, a compliment when they say it's snake oil? Is that, is that actually... Well, what happened was when snake oil got here, what they started doing in, some, in America, they started having charlatans that didn't really sell real snake oil, just, high in omega-3s. No, they'd put like a little bit of petroleum oil oh. with maybe a little bit of beef fat, and then they'd sell that as snake oil when, when, it, was just, <laughs> when it was just inorganic uh, oils that are not good for you. And, and that's kind of the same thing that's happened in C60. You know, when C60 was small mm -hmm. and there was just a handful of producers, everybody made a quality product for their customers okay. because they and their families used it. But then it became popular and we get all of these fly-by-night charlatans mm -hmm. who, sell, who are selling C60 products with no C60 in them. Yeah. yeah. Products with low concentrations of C60 in them or products with have like uh, unpurified C60. So no, actually real, honest to good Chinese snake oil is great and high in omega-3s. So it's not a bad thing, but uh, but it, in America it became uh, the name snake oil became bad because they were selling <laughs> fake snake oil rather than real snake oil. <laughs> Thank you, Ken.